DJ Gamers. Alright. Let's try... Shoplifter. Okay, Choplifter was an interesting title because it was one of the few third-party games for the system. Yeah, it there wasn't a whole lot of third-party support, and this one, um, it was designed by Broader Bund, and who made the likes of Carmen San Diego. Yes, and the interesting thing though is Sega still published it. Um, they reprogrammed it and did the port of it, basically. I kill you all. So this is pretty cool. Yeah, it is. it's a fun game. It's just a little difficult. <laughs> now, your helicopter. Oops. Crashes in flames. Anyways, there's a couple basic directions you can go with this. You can turn it to its... If some jerk jet doesn't cut you off! <laughs> Alright, let's try that one more time. Okay, you can turn this direction and drop bombs. Or you can turn this way and shoot machine gun fire. See the difference? And you can sh do it in any other direction. You just have to keep pressing the 2 button until you get to the mode you, you want to be in. Just have to make sure you're turned the right way. Yeah. Now, if you bomb these little things here... What you do is you go down and you pick up the uh, guys here. Who are the snowmen? <laughs> I don't know. They're like little Aztec-y guys. And here's this tank that's going to oh, try and blow me up. Oh. So I have to leave those and go back. Sorry about your luck, guys. Uh, turn around, turn lucky. around. Okay. Lay down that suppressive fire. Okay, and land. Land. Good enough. And you get points for each person you take back to the base. So this yeah. is kind of interesting. Well, I shot one! Oops. <laughs> well, friendly fire does <laughs> uh, You know, most of the war-type games of this time were just kill the enemy. At least in here, there's a little more incentive. <laughs> as you take I'm, out mow your I'm mowing them down! Well, they shouldn't have been there. Oh. Oh, the tank got that one. <laughs> Tank's gonna get me if I don't go. This is intense. Oh, man. It is. This is actually kind of disturbing. Yeah, this is an intense <laughs> game. I like let's, it. Uh, Alright, you want to try something else? Uh, yeah, let's give uh, World Grand Prix a run. You want to try that? Let's check it out. Alright. World Grand Prix it is. Now, as we said, uh, Sega had a great line of racing games um, for the Master System because they had all the great arcade racing games, and um, they had uh, it. This is basically what we looked at with Hang On and Outrun, except it's F1 it's a cars. Grand Prix, yeah. Just throw a different car in there and throw some variations into the track, and you have your high and low gears. You're going about 300 miles per hour. It's basically a souped-up pole position. Yeah. That's what it looks like to me. Now, I wonder which came first. Uh, pole position. Okay. Pole position was, uh, 82. What the hell was that? Okay, so, it, it way predated it. So this is kind of maybe the home version. Because I don't think they had a home version of it. Yeah. For the, mas for the Master System. What? Pole position? Yeah. No, that was on Atari. Okay, so maybe, you know, they brought this out for the Master System specifically. Well, what they did was, um, Sega, Namco owned the rights to, uh, Pole Position. So, Sega made their own version, is basically what it is. Okay. Since they didn't have the rights to Pole Position, which were still owned by Atari, nonetheless. Which kind of hurt a lot of companies from the old days when, um, Atari kind of started going under there. Man, I want to try out the 3D glasses. I really think those... The cheap mother... <laughs> I think those could have really taken off. Well, yeah. Uh, the... They could be just... They could hurt your eyes. I don't know. 
I had Virtual but, Boy effect. But watching it, uh, just normally, it looks really cool. Yeah, it, it does feel kind of 3D-ish. I, I, see, I can see how the, those... See all the, yeah, the trees in the background there. The, the clouds, the trees, even the grass on the side, you know, everything's made to be reactive. You sound like Bob Ross. <laughs> the clouds and the trees. And <laughs> I love Bob Ross. Bob Ross was awesome. Game, Game over. Over. Was that it? Oh, Shall there's an we? edit. Whoa. Oh, here, look at this. You it's can make your own tracks. The track editor mode. Nice. Let's make this the most evil track ever known to man. Want to put one of those Tron-like turns into it? <laughs> <laughs> oh god, that looks horrible. There we go. <laughs> uh, forgive our uh, track here. Well, that's the funnest part of create your own track is create the stupidest thing you can and then try and drive through it. It just never works. No. <laughs> you always... Wow. Kind of looks like a boot. Uh, what's... Please push left button. That'd be... I thought it was called the one button. They need to figure out... Is it the one or the left? What are we talking about here? What button okay. are we referring to? This is your course. Sweet! I'm gonna get creamed on this course! <laughs> I didn't know this had a track editor. That's awesome. So this was a step up, uh, something you didn't get in the arcade versions. Yeah, this this, this definitely is, adds some more validity to it. This is why you want to own a Sega SG-1000 Mark III. <laughs> oh god, I did make an evil course. <laughs> wow. Alright. <laughs> yeah, the track editor is really awesome. I might have to play this a little bit later. <laughs> I don't know if I want to... Oh, and these guys are cheap. They're going to box oh, me in. Yeah, they box you in, and then... And then you can't do anything. And I'm since I'm currently in the toe of the boot... I, what, what were children learning back then? I mean, that your car can explode and you just start driving again? <laughs> <laughs> uh, they think that nowadays. Yeah. I will call this track Das Boot. Das Boot? Das Boot. Version 1.0. <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't think it has a battery backup, so you probably can't save it. No, the, this track's gonna be gone as soon as we switch games. I'm thinking. That's kind of disappointing. That's okay. I can make a new dust boot. You can always make a new dust boot. I will add a heel, and it will be an evil heel dust boot. Meow, <laughs> meow. I like the video game passing sound yeah. in the older systems. It's meow. <laughs> they kind of emulated the real sound quite pretty well there. Meow. Jerk. This probably took advantage of that Yamaha sound chip. Meow. But they never really put it in it. You ass oh. Well, it, they probably had to downgrade it, but the finish is right there. There's the end of Dust Boot. Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, World Grand Prix. We're gonna switch games now. Hey, Scotty, what level are you at with these Sega games? Wow! Gangster Town. Enduro Racer. Jumpin' Dirt. Quartets. World Grand Prix. Yeah! So, what level can you get to? The Sega Master System and Games are each sold separately. Who's your hero? Stop, stop.